Nancy Rumfelt, 2479 Selenium Court, also director of Liberty Watch. I have been attending these board meetings for over two years, and quite honestly, I have never seen some of the behavior that I have been seeing the last few months. While we may not have always agreed with what the previous board did or how the previous board president ran the meeting, we never showed the disrespect that we have seen in recent months. I am appalled that Director Montague disrupts board meetings and shows no respect for the office she holds. I am appalled that Director Montague turns the meetings into a circus with an obsessive focus on obstructing, interrupting, and disrupting the meetings whenever possible. I must also be open and honest and acknowledge that could Bob Kerrigan do a better job of running this meeting? Absolutely. I also point out that it is difficult to run a meeting well when you are surrounded by two people of Montague and Howard who all they are looking for is any moment to tag team and tear you down and turn it into confusion. At least with the other board, there was a want, a desire to help each other when there was confusion on the rules. Not this board. There's the only desire to tear everything apart and to build it down for your own personal purposes. I am appalled that the police allow citizens to disrupt the board meetings and citizens to justify their rude behavior because they aren't getting what they want, when they want, and they have no patience for a financial discussion. I understand there's money to build, but there are the questions of how do you pay for the operations, how do you staff it. We all keep hearing about the budget. I'm appalled that Dr. Shear last Saturday announces that there's 35 extra teachers in the district so that we don't have to worry about staffing the school. As we're constantly told, the district budget is cut to the bone, but yet we have extra staff. I am appalled that Director Montague and those who follow her lead are modeling to our kids that it is okay to be rude and disrespectful when you don't get your way and have zero tolerance for differing opinions and ideas. Do you find this funny? Do you find your behavior right now becoming of an elected official? I am appalled Dr. Shear makes no effort to offer his years of experience to bring order, process, and stability to the board meetings. Dr. Shear instead sits at the table sulking and pouting like a toddler who is told to stay out of the cookie jar. Order, order in the room, guys. Little respect. <laughs> As I said, citizens, it is appalling to justify their behavior. You're modeling this to our kids. I am appalled that people are being pitted one against the other for no purpose other than to obstruct the board from accomplishing anything. It now seems to be a crime to belong to any group. Once you belong to the board, you're no longer allowed to free associate. I'm appalled that Director Montague and Howard have spent their time and energy to create an environment where differing ideas are cause for attack and a demonization instead of encouraging respectful debate, which leads to good governance, which leads to great things happening in Thompson School District. Thank you. Thanks.